G'day, Sambo here. It is Sunday 16th of April 2017, about 1pm, maybe a little bit after. Today, I just want to talk about base load power consumption. And I'm going to move very shortly because the bees are buddy bonk them in. Buddy bee just stung me. Just standing there minding my own bloody business, the bee comes up, stings me in the head. A bit testy today. I think it's the weather, overcast. Anyway, as I was saying before, I so bloody rudely interrupted. Base load power consumption. I've got all of these panels here. I'm only using these eight 260 watt panels. The other ones are currently unused. I had the money, bought them, put them up. And the reason I got so many panels is just for days like this, so I can still charge my batteries. When I'm here at the shack, my power consumption is generally about the two to three kilowatt hour mark, depends on what I'm doing. Uh, it's rare that I get to see how much electricity the house actually uses when I'm not here. It's sort, of, sort of logical, isn't it? But this weekend I'm minding mum and dad's dogs, so that means being just up the road, staying at mum and dad's place, using their solar power. So all I've got here at the moment is the inverter, the uh, propane gas hot water system, and the fridge running. So there's the charge controller. Battery is at 27.1 volts. Charge controller is in float mode. So the batteries are fully charged. Hundred and forty volts input off the panels. 0.7 kilowatt hours generated. Twenty-seven amp hours. That's what's gone into the batteries. That's not what the house is using. So we'll get out from under here and I'll go out and away from the beehives and we'll talk about this a bit more. That's where I got stung just up there on the thigh marks. Ah, uh, in the background there you can see the water heater. That's hooked up to the electricity all the time. Use electricity to ignite the gas. And during the winter time, it's got a little heater in there to keep the boiler from freezing and then busting. So this time of the year, a negligible amount of use on that. So where is that 0.7 kilowatt hours, that 27 amp hours, 700 watt hours, where's that all gone? Uh, the last two days I've had a small battery charger going on the lawnmower been on trickle charge the last 24 hours pretty much so roughly 700 watt hours has been used up by the inverter in the fridge you've probably seen the videos on my fridge just a converted chest freezer at this time of year my fridge is using about uh, 200 maybe to 250 watt hours per day so let's go to 250 because uh, that's worst case scenario pretty much so that leaves me with 450 watt hours being used by the inverter as well as the batteries. I've shown it before, the batteries have got their own losses. They've got internal resistance. You push the power in there, they give off heat. So the electricity being converted to heat. So I don't know exactly how much electricity the inverter is using per day, but it's definitely much less than 450 watt hours. So that's my baseline power consumption. When I'm not here and all I've got running is the fridge and the inverter, obviously. Um, you know, about 700 watt hours per day. Absolutely stuff all. So that 27 amp hours from a 375 amp hour battery bank, that's about 7% of the rated capacity of the battery bank. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in another video.